what's up everyone welcome to keto blogging and in this video i will show you how you can customize the author section in your flutter pro theme so here as you can see that i have customized this author section like this so how you can change this default author section in flutter pro theme to something like this so let's get started so if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button i also recommend you to check out our flutter pro theme customization playlist so i will leave this link in the description so you can easily customize your flutter pro theme by following this video so let's start how you can change this author section from this to this so for this i will go to blogger dashboard and i will take a backup of the theme first so in case if i do any mistake i can easily restore it by copying the old code to our theme editor so let's click on edit html here and let's open a blog post and here you will need to inspect the element a little bit to modify the changes so first of all we need to make this as a full width so as you can see that it is showing 50 percent in this on desktop version so what i can do is i will right click on it and click on inspect here and here i will select the parent deep element here this is the deep class post authors and here if you check the css code here the max width set is 400 pixel so we need to change this pixel size to 100 percent so it will always cover 100 percent max width like this and as you can see that the author section is now 100 percent and we don't want this background color then i can simply remove this background color field like this so the background is removed and if you don't want the box shadow then you can also remove this box shadow from the author section like this so as you can see that it is now looking quite clean and here we need to make some changes here so here the top padding is 10 pixel and the left and right padding is 12 pixels so you can change this value as well so let's increase the top padding to something like 15 pixel or let's keep it 20 pixel now here you can also adjust the margin so i can reduce the margin a little bit from 40 pixel to 20 pixel here like this so then i need to find the css code in theme so i will copy it here and i will go to the template let's search for that code and here it is so here you will see this fast line of code here so as you can see that we don't need this background color so you can simply remove this and then we don't need this box shadow code so i can also remove that and here you can increase the padding a little bit if you want and you can reduce the margin from 40 to something like 20 pixel and i will change this max width from 400 pixel to 100 percent like this so we have done our first step then we need to modify other element within the parent author section block so i will click on here and i will click on the image so this is the deep class author image and under that there is a deep class with author image so we need to increase the width of the image so by default it is set to 36 pixel and the height is 36 pixel so let's make it around 60 pixel and let's change the height to 60 pixel like this so as you can see that now the author image is a little bit big so you can find this code from here so i will copy this code and i will find that code from here here it is so as you can see that the width is 36 so let's change it to 60 pixel here like this and uh, you can change any other value if you want now we need to increase the size of this uh, author name and the author description so we can also do that so let's select the author name here so let's click on author name here and as you can see that there is no size at added here so let's add a font size attribute here and let's keep it like 16 pixel so you can easily increase this value or decrease this value according to your preference so let's keep it 16 pixel and we can also increase the 
size of this written by also let's select this element and you can increase the font size from 12 pixel to 14 pixel like this so we need to find this code in our theme code and change it here so let's increase the font size to 14 pixel and let's add a new element here font size to 16 pixel in the author name like this now let's add a border here so to add the border what i can do is i will select the whole element here here in the post author and let's add a border of 2 pixel solid and you can add your own color so let's keep it like blue or blue violet or something like that so you can change the color from here like this or you can in change the color like this so let's add this color here now you can increase the border size if you want to something like 4 pixel now what i can do is i will add the border left attribute and let's make it 0 pixel now let's add border right 0 pixel like this so as you can see that we have added a lining at the top and bottom and reduce or remove that border left and right here so i can copy this code from here and i will paste it here in the post author deep class so let's add it here like this now we need to increase the size of the description so for this i will select the description here and i can increase the font size so here the font size is set to 95 percent so you can make it to absolute pixel so let's keep it something like 16 pixel like this and you can also change the font family if you want like you can add a font family attribute here and you can change the font family here as well like this so let's keep it something like this okay now you need to find this code again and here let's change the font size to something like 16 pixel like this now let's increase the line of the description so as you can see that by default it is showing two lines and it is not showing the complete author description here so to show that we need to make some changes in the html code as well so for this i can simply search for control plus f and search for post author like this or you can right click on here let's click on author info let's copy the class of this deep section and let's type control plus f and search for that class and here it is this is the author info here and here you can see that the length is set to 100 so we need to increase that so let's keep it something like 500 so it will show more description in the author section so let's click on save here now let's go to the front end and let's check if this description is increased or not so as you can see that with a handful year of practice so it is cutting from here so let me just refresh this again and as you can see that it is now showing more text so we need to add more lines so for this what i can see like let's increase the length to something like 800 now let's click on save here now refresh this page and i think we need to add the we need to make some changes here again so let's click on this and let's change the webkit line clamp to 4 so that it will add more lines here so we need to make the changes as well so as you can see that by default it is set to two lines so it is not 
increasing even if we have increased the length of the description so we need to change the webkit line cam to 4 here for is sufficient for my description so if you have more description so we can increase it to 5 or 6 so what i can do is i will copy this code again and i will find this code and let's increase the line clamp to 4 let's click on save here now let's go to the front end and let me just refresh this page and as you can see that it is now looking quite good so you have successfully modified the author section in your Flitro Pro theme so you can also modify it further in mobile device as well you can add a media query attribute and change the styling in mobile device as well so i will provide the code or css code for the author section in the description so you can use that code out so i hope you have successfully modified your author section in Flitro Pro theme and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out our Flitro Pro theme customization playlist and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and I will see you in the next one bye bye